Hello everyone. In this video, we will see the simulation for Thevenin's theorem using MATLAB Simulink, and for that, we will consider this circuit and find the current which is flowing through this 5 ohm resistor. This is the MATLAB window, and click here on Simulink, create a blank model. We will first of all save our file. This is the library browser wherein several libraries are present. So just go inside the Simscape library then electrical. So here we will be using most of the components which are present in this library browser. Sorry, in specialized power system library. So you can just drag the, any of the block which you will be requiring into this workspace. Or you can simply double click onto this workspace and search the name of the block which you will be requiring. So let us start building our circuit diagram. So we will take first of all DC voltage source which is present in this specialized power system library. Just double click on it. To change the amplitude of this voltage source. So according to the circuit diagram, this we will take this DC voltage source as 6 volt. Then take series RLC branch, double click on it and change the branch type as resistive. We will consider this resistance as 4 ohms. Take two more copies of this series RLC branch to rotate this branch. First of all, click on this block and then press Ctrl and R key. Now we will take current measurement block. To measure the current which is flowing through this branch. Take another DC voltage source or simply copy this and change the parameter. So we will take this as 8 volts. So this series RLC branch resistance we will consider it as 2 ohms and this load resistance as 5 ohm. Now take a display block. and connect the output of this current measurement block to this display. You can also give name to this signal by simply double clicking on it. Now take a power guy block. We will change the simulation type as, as a discrete. So this power guy block is required for simulation of these components which are present in the specialized power system library. We will consider this stop time as 1 second. Save all the changes and run the simulation. So as you can observe here, the current which is flowing through this load resistance of 5 ohms is 1.158 ampere. Now we will find Thevenin voltage across these two terminals and equivalent resistance of this circuit and from these two parameters we will find the current which is flowing through this load. So for that just make select all these blocks, press the control key and click on any of the selected block to make another copy. Now we will measure the voltage across these two terminals. So first of all delete this. Take a voltage measurement block. 
which is present in the specialized file system library and connect it connect the output of this voltage measurement block to the display you can double click on it and give the name as seven in voltage now save all the changes and run the simulation so as you can observe here the theven in voltage which we are getting here is 7.33 volts now we will find equivalent resistance of this circuit so for that select this entire circuit and to make the copy just press the control key and drag this entire circuit so we will delete this voltage measurement block and display we will replace this DC voltage source with short circuit take impedance measurement block connect it across these terminals now suppose you don't know what this impedance measurement block is then if you will double click on it here you will get short information about this block and suppose you want to know more about this block then you can click on this help tab so this particular block is not having any of the output terminal so and if you want to measure this impedance then we have to go inside this power guy block so for that save all the changes and run the simulation just go inside this power guy block go inside tools here you will find impedance measurement block you can enable here the grid option and zoom into this impedance block so the value of this equivalent resistance which we are getting here is 1.33 ohms So we have got here the VTH as 7.33 ohms and RTH as 1.33 ohms and our RL is 5 ohms. So we will we can simply find the current which is flowing through this load resistance by dividing VTH by RTH plus RL. So this current value 1.158 is same as we have seen in this case in this first circuit which is same as this so in this way we have seen this Thevenin's theorem and also you can check the link in the description box regarding this course thank you